ایک غیر مسلم ہیں اور انڈیا سے اردو جانتے ہیں سمجھتے ہیں انہوں نے سوال پوچھا ہے کہ کیا اسلامی ریاست میں ہمیں اپنے مذہب کی تبلیغ کی اور اپنی عبادت گاہوں کی تعمیر کی اجازت ہوتی ہے اگر ہوتی ہے تو پھر سعودی عربیہ میں اور دوسرے اسلامی ملکوں میں چرچ بنانے کی پرمیشن کیوں نہیں ملتی جبکہ آپ مسلمان لندن اور پیرس میں اپنی مسجدیں بناتے ہیں چند اسلامک ملکوں میں مثال کے طور پر سعودی عربیہ ایکسیٹرا میں پروپیگیشن آف اینی ادر ریلیجن از پروہبیٹڈ ایون کنسٹرکشن آف اینی پلیس آف ورشپ از آلسو پروہبیٹڈ اور اس میں کئی کئی غیر مسلم کہتے ہیں کہ ہم جب آپ کو الاؤ کرتے ہیں ہمارے کنٹری میں پاتے یورپ میں آتے ہیں امریکہ میں آتے تبلیغ کرتے ہیں ماس بناتے ہیں تو ہمیں کیوں نہیں پرمیشن ہے اس کا میں سمپل سوال پوچھتا ہوں انہیں کہ میں غیر مسلم سے یہ پوچھتا ہوں اگر آپ اسکول کے پرنسپل ہے اور اگر آپ میتھ ٹیچر چننا چاہتے ہیں اور تین ٹیچر آتے ہیں ایک ٹیچر سے آپ اور آپ سوال پوچھے دو جمع دو کتنا پہلا ٹیچر کہتا ہے کہ دو جمع دو تین دوسرا ٹیچر کہتا ہے دو جمع دو چار تیسرا ٹیچر کہتا ہے دو جمع دو چھ تو میں یہ ان سے پوچھتا ہوں وہ ٹیچر جو کہتا ہے دو جمع دو تین یا دو جمع دو چھ کیا آپ اس کو اسکول میں رکھیں گے تو وہ کہتے ہیں لچو آپ اس کو پڑھانا دیں گے بتانے پڑھا دیں گے کیوں نہیں دیں گے کیونکہ اسے میتھمیٹکس کا صحیح علم نہیں ہے اسی طریقے سے جہاں دین کا سوال ہے الحمد للہ سما الحمد للہ ہم مسلمان جانتے ہیں کہ ان ندین عید اللہ علیہ السلام سورہ عمران سورہ متین آتے ہیں منیز کے آتے ہیں کہ صرف ایک ہی صحیح دن ہے وہ وہ اسلام اور اللہ تعالیٰ فرماتے سورہ عمران سورہ متین آیت نمبر پچاسی میں کہ اسلام کے علاوہ کوئی بھی بغیر مذہب اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی قبول نہیں کریں گے تو دین کے معاملے میں ہم جانتے ہیں اسلام ہی صرف صحیح دین ہے اسی لئے ہم دوسرے دین کا پروپیگیشن علاو نہیں کرتے جہاں تک کہ دوسرا سوال ہے کہ ہم چرچ بنانے دیں گے یا ٹیمپل بنانے دیں گے جب دین ہی غلط ہے اور چرچ میں عیسیٰ علیہ السلام کا پوچھنا غلط ہے پت پرکتی غلط ہے اسی لئے ہم غلط چیز ہمارے ملک میں علاو نہیں کریں گے لیکن یہ صرف سعودی ریبے اور چند ممالک ہے سب سب مسلم کنٹریز کو نہیں یہ تھوڑا سا یہ تھوڑا سی بات جو ہے یعنی وہ تو سمجھ رہے ہیں کہ ان کا مذہب ٹھیک ہے اور ہم بھی سمجھ رہے ہیں کہ ہمارا مذہب ٹھیک ہے غیر مسلم سمجھ رہے ہیں ان کا مذہب ٹھیک ہے اب لوگوں کے سامنے ظاہر ہے کہ ان کو آ کے ایک شمجھ لیجئے بات میٹس کے اندر وہ غیر مسلمان ٹو پلس ٹو ایز ایکوال ٹو تھری پڑھانے دیں گا نے اپنی سکول میں کیونکہ وہ کنفرم لے کہ ٹو پلس ٹو فور یہ تو دین کے معاملے میں ہم کنفرم نہیں نو کنفرم نہیں اگر وہ کنفرم ہوتے تو غلط چیز کو پڑھانے دیں گے اسی طریقے سے ہم جب رول کر رہے ہیں کونسی کنٹری ہمیں ہنڈر سو ٹکا پتا ہے اسلام کے علاوہ بگر مذاہب صحیح نہیں ہے یہاں کوئی ہیومن رائٹس کا مسئلہ کوئی ایسی بات ہے ہیومن رائٹس کا سوال نہیں ہاں کوئی پیکٹس کرنا چاہتا ہے مسلم کنٹری میں اپنے گھر میں پرابلم پروپگیٹ نہیں کر سکتا ہے اسی طریقے سے کوئی ٹیچر اپنے دماغ میں سوچتا ہے ٹو پلس ٹو تھری تو پرابلم نہیں بچے لوگ کو پڑھائیں گے تو ہم اس کو بلکل بلکل یہ نہیں کریں گے کہ ہمارے بچوں کا پڑھا ٹو پلس ٹو سائنس اور ٹکنالوجی میں آپ ماہر ہیں ہم آپ سے سکھیں گے لیکن دین کے معاملے میں ہم ماہر ہیں الحمدللہ تو اسی طریقے سے جہاں تک کہ ان کا سوال ہے انہیں ابھی تک کہ اتنا they are not confirmed yet so we are trying to get them to the right part of Islam therefore we propagate our religion to the non-Muslim السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ 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 ورحمت Muslims don't allow people to build in Islamic State. And notice in here, it says Islamic State, not Saudi Arabia, not necessarily Saudi Arabia, which means any Islamic State, if they establish really Islamic States, they have to shut down all other religion, worshipping houses, and everybody have to bow down to Allah. Simply, he said, it's forbidden. You know, the answer is very clear. You know, so they are saying, okay, the, the other countries, they allow you to do that, But you don't allow them. Uh, let, me, uh, let me answer from him. This is his answer to you, uh, Western. You allowed Muslims to, be, to, to open their mosque because you are dummy. He's saying that to you. We don't allow you, but you allowed us. Not, not, not our fault. And he's right. It's not his fault. When you allowed him, it's not his fault. He will not allow you. Simply because Islam don't approve any other religion. Islam is one way to go or you die. Even for Muslims, don't think it's only against you as a Christian. Even the Muslims, if they go out of the line of Islam, they will torture him, they will kill them. Then he tried to be smart, and he said, okay, you know what? If you, uh, if you have a school, and you want to hire a teacher, and you ask them, those teachers in the interview, two plus two, how, how much? 
one say four, one say uh, uh, three, one say six. Which one you will hire? For sure, number the one who say four, right? <laughs> He's assuming that the one who will give the number four is the Muslim. This is why they cannot go to the moon, right? Because see how good see, they are so good in mathematics. This is why they cannot make a bicycle because they are so good in mathematics. Even the nuclear weapon you made in Pakistan, everything you stole from the West, it's not your made. So, where is the mathematics you are talking about? And as long as you are mentioning mathematics, I want to show you something. Maybe you can uh, help me out. Chapter 4, verse number 11 and 12 in the Quran, Allah needs to go to school. If you read this verse carefully, you will see the following. That in the case of inheritance, if somebody die and he have daughters, read the verse, take your time. Simply, I will make it simple for you. If somebody die, he have three daughters and one wife and two parents, his father and his mother. This person, he die, he leave those behind him. The inheritance it should go this way. Watch with me and let us love together. Hmm? It says that two-thirds will go to, to the females, which they are more than three. Okay? Two-thirds of the inheritance. And notice carefully, of the inheritance, not because the Muslim they try to fool you, say, or whatever left, of the inheritance. And then a sixth share of the inheritance for, e for each of the parents. And then we will see that the woman, the widow, in verse number 12, she is going to take a quarter of the money. Now, if we give two-thirds to the daughters, one-third to the grandparents, how we can give the quarter to the lady, the widow? And notice in here, I did not put a son or anything. I just make it, make, made it very simple. Just to show him that his God, he is so dummy in mathematics. Secondly, if we go to different verse in the Quran, as the following verse. Remember, he said, Quran says Allah accept only Islam as a religion. Chapter 3, verse 85, right? Let me show you that Allah accept as a religion. Chapter 5, verse number 69. The guy, he was asking him about the Christian and the Jew and other religion. The Quran in chapter 5, verse number 69 says that those who they are believe in Quran. This is one, the first option. And those who they are, the Jewish, who follow the scriptures. And the Sabians. By the way, it doesn't say scriptures. This is between two marks, and this is in the translation. And there it says, Alladina Hadu. Hadu, which means the, the, the Jewish, the Yahud. And the Christians. And any who believe in Allah. And anyone, not necessarily from those religions. Anyone, you know. All the last day. And work righteousness. On them shall be no fear, nor shall they grieve. Now, a question, number one, the Muslim, they might say to you, oh, you know what, he's talking about those who follow uh, uh, Isa before, false. This verse came down in the time of Muhammad when he was speaking to the Christian and the Jew who was exist at that time, not those who was before. And we can read the explanation. And this is why they are called a Jew by name and a Christian by name. And by the way, why he put the Sabi in there? Let me tell you why Muhammad, he made this verse. Simply, in the beginning, Muhammad was a very weak person and he was trying to make people relax so nobody go against him. So whatever he say, he say, he say to them, don't worry, you know, I, 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 like, you know, you will be in heaven, I'm not against you. Yeah, we have the same God, don't worry about it, you know, I'm not against you. Christian, Jew, Sabi, and, and even if you go, if you heard about the satanic verses, Muhammad, he bowed down to the Allat and Al-Uzza, and he worshipped them. Why? Because he want to make the pagan believe that he is appreciating their God and he worship their God so they can believe him. You know, this guy, whoever he see, he say, I believe in your God. This is in the beginning. But when Muhammad, he got his teeth, guess what? Allah accept only Islam. And this is what we see in this case. So always, you know, the Muslims assume that they are the smart one. And you know, I want to ask him, 
if you if you have a school and we want to hire teachers, all kind of teachers, and we got the Muslim teachers, let us say ten of them. One of them saying to me, uh, 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 there is a flying carpet, and the other one saying, uh, well, the, the the women she have testicles in her ribs, and the other one say to me. Uh, if you die for Allah, I will give you, Allah will give you 72 horny women, each one of them, her butt is one mile. And the other one, he said to me that the earth is a flat. And the other one said to me that there is a donkey, have two horses, two, two, two wings can fly. And the other one, he says to me, there is a genie, he will take, or shaitan, he will take a hair from your butt when you pray. And the other one says to me that shaitan do piss in your ears. And the other one said to me that shaitan sleep in your nose. Which of them we will hire in the school, you dummy? Simply none. This is what you believe. And you are talking about mathematics. Christ is Lord. Islam made by a dummy for dummy. I mean.